<clears throat> hi beautiful souls just behind me there's a patch of bear planting and that little patch there is called the burning bush it's one of my little swim points and a place that i used to frequent a lot with my previous dog boo boo <clears throat> I'm just sitting here on the beach with Lanto. It's high tide. The sea is quite bouncy. A lot of water. Um, a lot of water. That's due to the moon. And um, yeah, what can I say? A lot of water. So it's come up much further <coughs> than normal. And getting in and out a little bit more challenging because obviously more water more pull and so um, I'm just biding my time <coughs> before going in I was planning to go in this morning but um, didn't quite manage it I think I got too cold just sitting around staring at the waves for too long so <coughs> here I am now it's sunny it's perfect and it's a beautiful day Lanto come back please Lanto, come back. Lanto is thinking about making a runner when even if one person comes down to where we were sitting, it sort of makes him feel a bit agitated as if he should be moving on or something. So, <coughs> but, if, um, but if I don't make him do things that he's not comfortable with, he'll never change. And change is what we want don't want people to stay stuck and small and limited. We want people to expand and expansion does sometimes take a little bit of discipline and getting used to things that aren't familiar and getting used to things that aren't always comfortable. <clears throat> so never give up. If you, if you have a dog or any animal that tries to skirt out of actually being and wants to uh, let fear run it, do not allow that to happen. You have to uh, address it. And address your own fears, of course, as well. Today I thought I'd share a little lighter on frequencies. The reason being is that uh, there's been a mention a few times about uh, the planet being third dimensional, and this is not true. It's, it's not a third dimensional planet. Um, it's gone way beyond that. Gaia is of a fifth dimensional frequency. And so in order for the humanity to actually stay on board, Everything is having to level up. Everything is having to actually level up so that it can stay on board and uh, keep expanding and growing and evolving. Anybody being birthed into this planet now is already coming through at a much higher frequency than before. So the evolving consciousness, and really this is what the Great Shift is about, is about giving everyone an opportunity to ascend in the physical bodies and for some they've been coming back from goodness knows from early atlantis to experience this well i should say since the fall of atlantis because early atlantis everything was a very different story but when the fall happened and when things started to become debased then you know frequencies changed and the whole frequency of the human consciousness or the the consciousness of the beings on the planet at that time was lowered. So now is the moment to level up. Up level the frequencies. Frequencies, dimensions, it's the same thing. And um, everybody is creating their own experience, their own universe. And that's based on how they are living, where they are focused. Because if you're focused on things that make you feel good, if you're focused on the joys, on creating wonderful, beautiful experiences and services and joyful and <clears throat> unifying ways of being, then what will happen is that you will be feeling and living from a higher frequency. But if you are going around sticking your nose into things uh, that has nothing to do with you, if you are... Um, gossiping and uh, quarreling and arguing and fighting and doing all the sorts of things that make a person feel well exhausted and depleted really 
then you're going to be holding yourself in a lower frequency. There's a lot of humanity in the third dimensional consciousness still, in that third dimension. Some have managed to move up to the fourth dimension. Some are living in fifth dimension and higher, and that's all wonderful. They're fully emerged in New Earth. New Earth, of course, is a frequency. It's not a different place. Uh, everything is here right now, but you cannot perceive what you're not ready to perceive. So uh, you could be sitting on this beach, for instance, and there could be ninth dimensional beings all around you, but if you're not able to hold the frequency of that dimension, that frequency, then you won't be able to perceive those ninth dimensional beings. This is why people can see certain things for a certain moment or time, but they aren't always able to sustain seeing things for long periods of time. And that's because they're not able to hold their frequency that high. And it does take a little bit of, well, it takes practice, but if your frequency is predominantly at a certain level, you are going to find it very difficult to just suddenly ramp it up to something really, really super high because you'll literally feel like you're burning out. I think we've all been in places when we've been through life, yeah, not maybe right now, but maybe at some point in your life you've experienced being really depressed, feeling really, really not great. When you're feeling depressed, not great, and grief or something like that, it is very difficult to be around somebody who's all jolly and cheerful because your frequencies just do not match. They're so different that you just can't come into contact with them. It's just, it's just too much. Their light is too much for you. So to be able to maintain higher frequencies, you have to keep your light levels as high as possible, which means being out in nature, which means collecting codes, light codes, keys from nature, filling yourself up with those good codes, making sure that you stay hydrated, looking after your body, stretching, exercising, feeding yourself and nurturing yourself with good things, listening to obviously nice music, not this awful music that so many people listen to and think it's so clever when actually it's limited and designed to keep you debased and keep you in a, in a slave system. So be really conscious about what you put into your body and that is not just obviously what you're, you're eating but what you're consuming full stop, what you're looking at, what you're, where you're placing your energy, your focus, who you even talk to, who you, you know, spend your time with, what you listen to. Do you allow people just to offload on you? What do you read? And consider how much creativity you're putting out. You should always be creating more than you consume. Because creativity is a form of light. It's you putting out your light into the world. And if you're not putting out your light into the world, well, what can I say? You'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean. If you don't put your light out into the world, if you're just sitting there consuming, you'll know exactly what I mean. You'll see, you'll feel it. It's not pleasant because you won't be in balance. You have to be in balance. A balanced person, a balanced being will experience so much more joy and wonderment than somebody who's completely out of alignment with that that they are. So you get to experience which frequency you live in. You get to experience the universe you have created. And if you want a better universe, create a better one. But believe me, not everybody is in a three-dimensional um, place of existence. That's not true. Gaia is not a three-dimensional being. Gaia is much higher frequency than that. She's a fifth-dimensional being. And you get to choose how you live. You get to choose all of it. So if you're not liking something, change it. I send you lots of love and I'm going to go for a swim now. Peace.